<laughs> After a 10 year run, the comedy Last Man Standing will air its final episode tonight on Fox. Yes, and the stars of the show, Tim Allen and Nancy Travis, are with us today. Welcome, Hi guys. guys. <laughs> First of all, congratulations on a heck of a run. Tim, it seems like I run into you at uh, every uh, sporting event the last uh, yeah. last couple of years. You have good taste in teams, my friend. Are we speaking to you from your garage right now? What makes you say that? <laughs> I mean, because I normally don't have a bunch of, uh, what do you got right there? Behind me is Jay Leno's favorite car, so I listen to my pal Jay. It's called a Shelby or a Mustang GT350R. Yes. Wow. Not a big Mustang fan, but it is a terrific flat flat plane crank V8, and it sounds, annoys everybody in the neighborhood because it's really loud. It's throaty. Well, I yeah. love, that's one of my favorite well, cars. Well, Nancy, not to be outdone, <laughs> you're in your I, library. Can you grab the autograph Hemingway that you've tucked in behind you? <laughs> Got it, got it. And by the way, I didn't get the memo that we were going to be in the garage, or otherwise I'd be in front of my Subaru. So, <laughs> see, and, and this is the charm and wit that we've been uh, witnessing for the last ten years. Again, congratulations on an incredible run. I mean, at this point, you must feel like a married couple, right? She's like a really good friend of mine. It's it's like a, in no small way, it's like a family member. Mm -hmm. That's what it felt like when we first met, and just a. I don't know. That's, it's a real strange situation to me because I said I use Pat Richardson from Home Improvement's line sometimes. It's a perfect marriage without sex. <laughs> Nancy, how would you describe it? You know, you know each other well enough to say, listen, you need to get a mint. And... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and also the good news is, you know, when you're done, you just get in your car and you go away and right. your time is your own. So, uh, but I, I would say that right from the get go, we clicked and we, we latched onto these characters and made this marriage work and, and found great comedic rhythms. And, uh, um, yeah, no, I just, I, I loved working with you. That's right. I'm going to miss it. I'm really going to miss it. Well, you know, a lot of people have been saying that uh, casts have admitted to taking things from sets as a, as a souvenir, <laughs> if you will. What, what are you all taking? It's funny you should say that because, I mean, I, I think you should define take. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I didn't really, I for some reason it didn't even really occur to me, maybe because I'm just um, sentimental in different ways. I, I ended up taking uh, clothes that Vanessa wore, clothes and shoes. But Tim, well, maybe it's also because there wasn't much left after Tim was <laughs> tracking the whole place. <laughs> I've got so much crap that I'm actually angry with myself because then I've got, oh, God, where'd that, that table come from? And then it was like, if you my grandma did this years before she passed away. I want you guys to put a piece of tape on anything you want. And so when she passed, everybody had stuff. And I did this over the years with our guy Hardy. And I forgot that I said, yeah, I want that, that. And all of a sudden, all this crap showed up at my office. I go, what is all this? I got some silverware and, <laughs> and cups and all sorts of placemats. What, did I really want this stuff? Move out those cars, Tim. You can move it in. We did a joke in the Mike Baxter set. There's always peculiar stuff on his desk. That was a running gag I did with the audience. It, for Lately, it's been little miniature tanks. But also, the coffee cups always had something forgive me, very rude on them, but no one ever read them. And it was either, sounded like something really rude, but it was spelled different. And so I've got all these weird mugs. Every time Tim or Mike Baxter is holding that mug, it, generally it's a very rude comment. <laughs> See, I didn't know that. I did not know that. Uh, turn your mug you around, Mario. We'll hide our mugs over here. But guys, how's the finale going to be? How are fans going to feel? It's really hard to get it right on a show that's so loved like this. I feel like it's hard to please everybody. You know, you you know you have it's your last season, and every episode you episode you do, you know you're getting closer and closer to the big finale. And there's always this big question as to what is it going to be? What are you going to say? What where are these characters going to go? And I think. Uh, the writers and Tim, who wrote the last episode, came up with a really great idea to use the the truck as a metaphor for the the show. The whole show is sort of about a truck, but is it really? It's really about this group of people, this family saying goodbye to something that they dearly love. So it's, it was uh, very clever, and uh, and it leaves us 
uh, not like these people have gone off and ridden into the distance. It, it, it leaves us right at the end of one of their normal days. This episode, we didn't want to just turn a light out and say goodnight, like a theater thing, which is, as you just heard from Nance, we just moved on as best we could at great emotional expense to me anyway. I, I can't speak for everybody. Everybody. It was a t- it was way too much for me. Uh, it was a, it was such a strange thing because it, it, we do a comedy. It's a comedy, and uh, and at the end of the day, it's to be entertaining and funny, and so it would almost be like. Uh, and here's the joke, but uh, but. Uh, <laughs> 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 is there a possibility uh, that you could wake up at the end of Last Man Standing, Tim, next to Patricia and tell her that this was all a weird dream a la Newhart, the way they ended it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, this every time we come up with a story, it makes no sense because I thought when the, created, the creation of the show was an evolution of the zeitgeist, if you will, of home improvement, where my Tim Taylor went to college and became a, a college educated guy like that. But that said, one of the first or second episodes of this season, we brought Tim Taylor back as a goof, kind of as a surreal episode. And we already, we answered those questions in the episode where Tim Taylor shows up with with Mike Baxter. I don't know how, only in television does that work. Well, Nancy and Tim, we can't wait to see yes. what you do next. Well yes. done with all of that. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank, Thank you guys Nancy. very much. What a show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sure I'll see you at a football game, Tim. Yes. <laughs> the, the series finale of Last Man Standing airs tonight on Fox. Get your tissues.